And here we are then, it is race number two, round two of the season here, as we get ready for the second race here at Brands Hatch, and it's hopefully going to be a classic. The first one was a decent race, but what can the second bring for us? Zachary Fitzwater is looking for the weekend double. Uh, can he do it? Well, we'll find out. And now we're going to get into your NRUK starting lineup. On the pole end, Zachary Fitzwater Sr. after a fantastic race one win. Dylan Ebrahimum is on his outside. Then we have Carter Joey and Mitchell Collins on row number two. Row three is Owen Finley, uh, Fitzy's teammate, and Zachary Dello in the motorbike performance car. Then we have Logan Cloud and Niall Bensky on row four. Row five is Jose Mills and Mac Johnson. Row 6, Jay Jefferson and Nathan Ormond. Row 7, William Bulin and Keegan Thompson. Row 8, Kuklon and Bobo Jones. Row 9, Peter on Jack and Eric Monaco. Row 10 is Jake Richardson alongside Eli Bright. Row 11, Sam Oscan and DJ Reed. Then we have Mathis Wells and Luke Rainey. Friesen and Spurly Tube. Race Sachi and Lee. The NRUK Dunlop Custom and Series. Pain and Charles. About to begin. Fitzwater, race one winner. Ebrahimian for Team Hard on the inside. 30 cars are all back out on track for the second race of the day. Who's bringing it home to Victory Lane? We're about to find out as the green flag flies. As they all hurtle towards turn number one, Fitzwater with a fantastic start. Look at Mitchell Collins on the inside line, making it free wide round Paddock Hill Bend. Off of turn number one into the hairpin. It's again a solid start from Zachary Fitzwater Sr. in the 66. Mitchell Collins up into second. Him and Dylan Ebrahimian still having a good battle. Delello working his way up to fourth. Bensky and others going wide at the turn. But it's once again the Australian Zachary Fitzwater Sr. With an impeccable start on the high line. And that was simply stunning from Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Have we got a car off in the background? There was a bit of smoke through there. Have they all keep it uh, on now for now? Bulin off into the gravel, off of exit. Onto the final turn on the straightaway. He's going to be sent towards the rear of the field after a poor exit. Straight for the gravel trap and we're right into lap number two. So Fitzwater almost has a second lead already. Collins into second. Fitzwater the Toyota at the front. There's three Fords behind him. Carter Joey back to fifth. There's Owen Finley, Niall Bensky, Mac Johnson, Logan Cloud, and Keegan Thompson having a good battle here. Thompson goes wide. Can Cloud now on the overtake? There's a Power Max racing car and Luke Rainey off in the background there. Through this very difficult turn here, the Cobra Sport racing teammates going at it behind these two in a battle for tenth here between Thompson and Cloud. There's Bobo Jones and Jose Mills, the two teammates. Followed by Jay Jefferson, there's Eric Monaco, Eli Bright and Peter on Jack having a good battle behind them. But the front two are clear and it's Riley Spurly Tube and Summit Ozcan and Charbois as well. Free car wreck has happened here on lap number three and it's two big contenders. Spurly Tube and Ozcan have wrecked and including the 33 of Anthony Charbois who's going to not be able to finish the race for the second time today. It's been a woeful weekend from the 33 campers there. Uh, Keegan Thompson's off in the background there. So another wreck for that 33 team. Let's go see what happened. That's an absolutely calamitous weekend. And a quite incredible wreck here coming into Paddock Hill Bend. Free wide, Oscan, Spurly Tube and Lee, and they all get together and Spurly Tube hits the wall hard. Back up into the truck and collects Charbois. Uh, Oscan also with damage there and that is a big, big one. Here, probably the biggest wreck of the day we've seen so far. All three of those guys are going to be torn up now. And uh, not the weekend Charbois wanted, that's for sure. And as you can see there, such a disappointment for those three drivers. They're not going to be making it back. And they're going to have a lot of ground to make up already early on during this championship. Especially Charbois, who is now... Wrecked out in both races. It's not been his weekend so far. However, this man's weekend, it certainly has been. Zachary Fitzwater Sr., the wheel man of the day here, really. 
Uh, Brands Hatch, Mitchell Collins has gone in the second. Ebrahimian and Delello fighting hard over third. Oh, Delello gets that all wrong. He's off into the grass. Can he save it back across the track? He will lose two positions, though, there to the 22 of Owen Finley and Carter Joey. Yeah, three drivers who are going to be affected by that wreck. Charbois looks like he's coming back on track, but. Look at Zachary Delello here. This guy, fastest in practice on Friday. And we're qualified 10th, and he's just been going higher and higher up the field. The more races we take on. And uh, Delello, consistently a good performer this weekend. That's definitely for sure. Run through the rest of the field. Currently running out of the top 10 is Logan Cloud. Then we have Jones, Thompson, uh, Mills. Jefferson, I believe Peter and Jack currently holds that last points paying spot, but he is under pressure there for Eli Bright to uh, come home and get a point from him. Who else is there? Sir Jake Richardson. Charbois is back on track, but there's a lap down, has some rear end damage. He'll be off the pace, but at least he is getting some laps in. Um, so he can get a bit of experience. Oh, Adam Lease now down pit road. That's the second car we have with an issue there. He's now out of the race. So that's Spurly Chew back out on track. Also over and damage to Payne. Again off the pace here. He He's struggling. Oscan. But Adam Lease is the second casualty here of the day, I believe. Maybe involved in a wreck with the 12 car do Payne. And this turn once again providing problems. Adam Lease gets this one all wrong. Into the advertising board again. And Payne had nowhere to go. Also hits him, so those guys once again get torn up, and uh, at least he's going into the garage, and the end of race number two for him. So, already calamitous uh, moments happening here at Brands Hatch. Incredible scenes there. Adam Lease involved in a wreck, and again, so some guys already are having a poor weekend. So far, you look at the likes of Spurly Tube and Dupain have really struggled for any sort of speed. Uh, Marcus Sacchi as well has been at the rear. There's Eric Monaco's fallen back. Kukulon not a factor in this one. DJ Reed, Mathis Wells. Four cars here already torn, already taken out. And I reckon Ormond runs wide there at ninth. And here comes Logan Cloud alongside him in the Pertec Racing Dodge. Through, again, this very tricky race turn one of the toughest on the schedule can cloud do it on the outside can he get the momentum the run off the outside lane nice run off the corner but can ormond come up and clear him they're gonna be side by side down the front stretch this time a good nice battle here for ninth was uh, up there is bensky and finley with a good contest for sixth cloud off into the gravel there he keeps it on track for now though this time he gets it way wide. Here comes Bobo Jones to take through 10th position from him in the Cobra Sport Racing Toyota. Can he do it? Now Jones goes wide and he'll form back into line exactly where they were running before. So no one benefits out from that. Niall Bensky is now up to 6th position. He has passed Owen Finley in the BTC Norlin Toyota. Been a good weekend for that team so far. Fitzwater has just absolutely sh shooted off here. That is an incredible drive from this guy. And he's currently on a... He's currently set for back-to-back -back wins here. Or two wins in a row. Two wins in the weekend. He'll do the double. Should he not be involved in a wreck or have some sort of mechanical issue. A great win. A great start to the season for Fitzy. Mitchell Collins then. Ebrahimian Carter Joey is now up to fourth or still in fourth. After a mishap to Owen Finley or someone. And now Logan Cloud does run wide and Keegan Thompson. Oh, and Cloud's got issues. That's not going to be a good line. Him and Jefferson way off together. Oh, and Cloud Rex into Jake Richardson and Anthony Charbois. Sicily Motorsports both off. Cloud has terminal damage. And that will be the end of this race for Logan Cloud. He's now got to try and get to pit lane without wrecking Eric Monaco. Oh, he hits the pit wall. Incredible stuff. Logan Cloud impales the end of the pit wall. And the Dodgers now have all had issues. Spurly Tube, Dupain, Bulin and uh, Logan Cloud have all wrecked here. Richardson and Charbois were the ones who got taken out. 
and involved in that mess as well. So two Sicily Motorsports cars once again caught up. They're having a sh horror show of a weekend in terms of the luck they've had. Now Carter Joey's gone off. Carter Joey who is running fourth. This is incredible. We've got a whole host of issues going on here. Carter Joey is running fourth. Now he's got issues. Now he's towards the rear of the field. And this is simply sensational stuff. Delello will now resume fourth position. Bensky's up into the top five. Drama here. Let's go take a look at those procession of incidents right there. And here is the big one at Brands Hatch. Logan Cloud got this all wrong. Went off into the turn. There's Jay Jefferson. Hits the wall. Oh, Richardson with big damage. And there comes Cheryl Boren to it as well. But Richardson impaled the 78. Big damage for the 16. And uh, then Logan Cloud got it all wrong kind of pit lane as well. Almost took out Eric Monaco before hitting the wall himself. Giving William Bulin some damage there. Which I guess put him off and uh, slowed his car down. So a poor day for, poor race for the Dodgers. They need to rebound in race number three. And Carter Joey just got us all wrong. Coming into this turn, missed the breaking zone. Got on the high side and went f flying up into the barriers. Not flying, but he lost lost complete control of his car in the corner and went way up the track and that surrendered a good points paying finish for Halford's US race team and in and amongst all the action going out on track we've come into the white flag here for Zachary Fitzwater Senior let's look at the fact he's already opened up a almost a four second advantage and here he comes then the final lap for Fitzy and he can keep it straight for one more lap, which you, you, you think he should probably do. He's going to be a double race weekend winner here to open the season. And what a what a superb uh, performance this will be for him. It'll be a great start to the champions, their championship bid this season. Fitzwater doing a nice job wheeling it round as we come for a certes for the final time. Zachary Fitzwater Sr. has... Managed to do it again in the OUK Dunlop Custom Series. And through the final turn then. Off of, ter off of the final turn. Fitzwater is going to do a double this weekend. Fitzwater, round two winner at Brands Hatch. He has done it again with a fantastic performance. And a race weekend double for Zachary Fitzwater Senior and BTC Norlin Racing. It is the perfect start to their season they're going to victory lane once again second for Mitchell Collins who will be on the podium along with Dylan Ebrahimian who finished third fourth for Zachary Dello that's a nice result for him fifth for Bensky sixth for Zone Finley seventh Mac Johnson eighth in the M for Nathan Normand ninth Bobo Jones who ran out of top 10 Keegan Thompson but look at all those guys with issues there uh, Spurly Tube Ozcan Charbois Bulin with any more issues. There's uh, Cloud, Richardson, and Adam Lease. So, all the Dodgers have it have had problems there. Carter Joey was running in the top three, the top three or four comfortably before he plummeted down to 19th. And uh, the reverse grid race is short to mix it up. Fastest lap of the race was Carter Joey. He gets the bonus point. And uh, thank you for watching race two. The reverse grid race is coming later. Boy, that was a fun one.